Oh my gosh. As you guys can see right there, Mountain Lion chasing after this guy. No! Oh, oh my gosh. Did I save him? What's going on guys? Iggy Fresh here, back with a new LSPDFR episode. Welcome back guys. Today we have an exciting episode, something I've never done before and I haven't really seen anybody else do that either. Uh, but we're going to be doing our typical LSPDFR patrol in Blaine County as a sheriff deputy. But we're going to be using this amazing, amazing snowmobile right there guys, which is pretty awesome. But we're also going to be towing it to the location first with our trailer. Uh, but let's take a look at this vehicle, guys. We are wearing a helmet and goggles because it's windy out and it's it's snowy. It's snowy outside, guys. We're going to be towing it with this awesome uh, Chevy truck. It actually says special operations on the front fender over here, uh, which makes sense. It's a special operation, guys. Uh, but this is the trailer that's attached to the truck. And this is a Chevy Silverado for those of you guys who are interested. But anyways, this is what we're going to be using today, guys, which is this awesome snowmobile, guys. And I got it off of GTA5Mods.com website. I'm going to leave the link in the description below for you guys to check it out. But check this out. This thing is pretty cool. Oh my gosh, I'm actually driving it for the first time and I think you can actually tip it over. But we're going to be patrolling the mountains today, guys, and that's why I wanted this uh, maneuverable snowmobile uh, to be able to drive around quickly and easily. But let's park it right here on the, uh, the trailer, guys. And uh, we're gonna attach it and we're gonna get to the mountain and we're gonna begin today's patrol. I do wanna give a shout out to Swagger5000 for this awesome idea, guys. So uh, yeah, if you guys have cool ideas, let me know in the comment section down below for future episodes. I will definitely consider every single idea. You guys, I love hearing from you guys. And yeah, this way you guys can receive a shout out as well. But anyways, let's go ahead and begin today's episode. All right, guys, so I think we're ready to go and let's get on our way, guys. This is pretty cool. I know a lot of you guys do love snow or not snow patrols. Well, snow patrols as well, but you, a lot of you guys do love trailer patrols and, uh, ooh, got to be careful here. Uh, things that are a little more realistic where we actually pick up a trailer and load things on the trailer and you know it's kind of cool it's kind of cool it's almost like real life so it's really exciting to try out some of these mods uh, like I said I'm gonna leave them in the description below guys but uh, let's go ahead and take this left turn I think we're gonna patrol this area let me check on the map really quick uh, I think yeah we're gonna be patrolling this area as well as over by the lake and then there's a crossover path right there so that that will be nice too um, but for right now we do have hikers even though it's like snowing outside some people still like to go out and exercise but and I don't know why I have my lights turned on I was just testing them out and obviously they do work but anyways let's go ahead and unload uh, this uh, snowmobile from the trailer and we're gonna begin today's patrol guys alright guys so let's go ahead and get in this snowmobile and we're gonna begin today's patrol on this mountain it's gonna be awesome guys it's gonna be great uh, so today's patrol is gonna be mostly uh, suburban over here we're gonna be up in the uh, mountains over here very rural and uh, yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting there's gonna be lots of animals around and uh, yeah it's gonna be I guess kind of like a environmental patrol if you will uh, so let's go ahead and get started guys all right guys we're getting our first call for animal attack as you guys saw we do have quite a bit of uh, pedestrians or not pedestrians uh, hikers out here so we got to be careful oh my gosh as you guys can see right there a mountain lion chasing after this guy no Jesus. oh my gosh did I save him did I save him oh my god oh man all right let's go ahead and get a vet out here guys that was crazy last second I thought I thought this you're welcome buddy you can you can go away now but uh, last second I just saved his life that was pretty gnarly 
All right, the body of the uh, mountain lion is right over here, and we do have a vet coming, so they're gonna pick up the body, possibly revive it. I don't know what they do, but yeah, let's go ahead and wait for them. Um, they're not the best drivers, so they might go off-roading, um, but they do drive six by six, so uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Here they come. All right. Oh, gotta watch out. Oh, that was actually excellent. All right, let me have my shotgun ready just in case, in case something happens here. Let's see. It's alive. He's in the mountain lion is alive. He's gonna take him to the hospital or whatever they do and uh, yeah, attend to him. <laughs> what just happened? He just hit the door and fell. Okay. All right. Anyways, we're done here. Let's continue with today's patrol, guys. We have a civilian requiring assistance in Cassidy Creek. Guys, we're getting a call for a missing person in Cassidy Creek. We're gonna accept that. Let's respond. All right, and do we have no GPS signal detected? Okay. So I think somebody got lost, and we'll be able to track them using a GPS signal once we get in range uh, using their cell phone so it's gonna be pretty interesting if we can locate the body quickly the temperatures are pretty low so uh, uh, we need to be very quick with our response time and I think I'm yeah dispatch I'm on location I'm in the area code 6 alright people are flying on these dirt bikes around here Roger okay can we get our GPS signal now. Come on, what's going on with that? Alright, looks like I may need to loop around to get to uh, to get the GPS coordinates. So, uh, let's do that. We'll drive around and the, the good thing is this snowmobile is actually pretty quick. Like, I'm going 70 miles an hour. 72 right now. Which is pretty crazy. Oh, look at that bunch of bikers we can we can smoke them in this thing right and it's super maneuverable guys which is another awesome thing about this thing about this uh, vehicle here uh, but anyways we're pulling up on scene I wonder if there's gonna be a lot more maybe there's gonna be a search party over here maybe that's what's going on hmm I don't see a search party and there's no GPS signal. I do see a vehicle though. So this is going to be very hard locating the person. Actually, it might be very easy. I think there's a person right there. As you guys can see. Alright. Can we cross this lake? Hmm. Should we risk it, guys? Should we risk it for this guy? I don't know. If, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know how deep it is. And it's freezing water. But you guys see that guy right there. He's the one that needs help. Alright. Let me see. I really don't want to drive all the way around to get to him. It's going to be all the way around this way. Alright. We may need to. We may have to do that. Unless there's like a shallow area that will let us cross. I just don't know. I don't know how deep the water is. You know what? We'll loop around. And hopefully, yeah, this vehicle is fast enough. Can we cross here, maybe? Oh, it's so dangerous, guys. We'll loop around. I just don't want to, you know, start off this episode with a big fail where I completely hydro-lock the motor on the snowmobile. It's not really meant for this, you know? Ah, ah I almost, almost did it here, but no, never mind. We'll just do it the proper way, you know? It's so hard. Some of you guys prefer realism. Some of you guys prefer, you know, crazy things. So it's it's kind of tough to uh, keep everybody happy. But anyways, we're going to cross on this bridge right here. Let's go ahead and find that guy again. Should be pretty easy. And uh, we'll see if he requires any assistance today. But maybe it's a false alarm. Who knows? 
Alright, we need to get back into the search area, but... Whoa! <laughs> Man, I thought I was gonna flip this thing. Alright, back on location. Alright, where was he? He was kind of close to the water. So we'll need to get there. And... I think he was over here, right? I may need to go on foot over here. Where's this guy? You guys see him at all? I know it's he's not gonna be far from here. Oh, I think he's on the other side of this mountain. I think so. Is he up there? Let's go up. Where the hell did he go? Hmm. Is he on this side? Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him in the distance, guys. Alright, I got eyes. Whoa. Yeah, I think I went a little too far, but here he is. Alright. Finally, someone came here. Okay. Dispatch missing person found making contact. I was taking a walk and... Oh, this hurts. Okay. What hurts? Oh my gosh. An animal came out of nowhere and started attacking me. I couldn't even see what animal it was. All happened so fast. Alright, we need an ambulance out here, guys. Dispatch, I need an ambulance. Alright, we got an ambulance being dispatched. Just hang tight with us. Uh, as you guys can see, he was attacked brutally by some animal. He's bleeding from his legs. He's got all kinds of uh, cuts and bruises. So uh, I just pulled out my shotgun just in case because you, you guys saw it. There is a bunch of mountain lions out here. Alright, uh, there we go. We got paramedics getting down from the helicopter because obviously you can't get to here unless you're uh, using a snowmobile but here they come hopefully they'll attend to this guy and maybe take him or whatever you can leave we will take care of him thanks okay what's going on <laughs> I just flipped my snowmobile all right I think they're gonna take care of him take him to the hospital for further evaluation but uh, my job here is done essentially so, uh, yeah, guys, let's get out of here, and uh, we'll continue today's episode, guys. Goodbye. Attention all units. We are code 4. No further units required. Attention all units. Backup needed. An AC on... Guys, we're getting a call for an aircraft crash. Let's go ahead and take that. Oh, my gosh, I just heard the explosion gonna try and get there as quickly as possible and see if there's any survivors but it looks to be a plane not a helicopter oh man gotta be careful this thing handles pretty amazing but if you take the corner a little too aggressive this thing will definitely flip on you all right so uh, here we go it's about a quarter mile away now Let's see if there's any survivors and then we'll call the fire department uh, hopefully it's not too crazy but We'll see in just a second. Is there a trail? There we go. We can take this way. Oh, I see the plane. I see it. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell? All right. We need to dispatch fire services out here pronto. I still have my uh, shotgun just in case. I do see a pilot right here. He's hurt. He is hurt. Is there anybody else on the plane? Looks like he just came down this way, right into the mountain. The airplane did explode. We do have fire services responding, but I don't see any passengers. So it appears that the pilot was by himself. Uh, it's still unfortunate, but at least the casualties are not severe. But uh, hopefully, uh, all right, so we got the fire department and EMS on location now. 
We even have a Los Santos Police Department uh, unit respond as well. And another fire truck, and another EMS, and another fire truck. <laughs> what is going on? I don't think we need that big of a response for this, guys. <laughs> oh man. Alright, I think we're code 4 here. We have plenty of units. Oh my gosh, look at this mess. <laughs> Alright, I think we're done here. Alright, yeah, the plane was already picked up. Hopefully one of these guys will attend to uh, um, the pilot over here. Come on. Alright, they're coming, guys. They're coming. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me move out of this guy's way. Pretty nuts. Alright, anyways, guys. I'm gonna finish today's episode right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.